You're watching Mastering Microsoft 365 Copilots. In this episode, we are going to learn about Copilot in PowerPoint. Let's begin. At first, we are going to learn how to create a new presentation deck from a Word document. I'm going to launch the PowerPoint rich client. You can click on the blank presentation and on your home ribbon bar, you will be able to see Copilot and it is turned on. The same functionality is available on PowerPoint online as well. So if you go to your portal.office.com, select the PowerPoint application and go to a blank presentation under the home ribbon bar you will be able to see copilot so once you click on the copilot it opens up the copilot chat window this is where you would be able to create presentation add details to the slides modify your presentation etc additionally you can ask copilot to do certain tasks as well using prompts so i'm going to minimize this we are going to use powerpoint rich client to perform all the exercises for today so within your rich client click on the copilot button you can find the copilot button under home and that opens the chat window here copilot is already giving us some prompt to start off with so you can either click on create a presentation to start a presentation from scratch or you can create a presentation from file as well so in this example we are going to look at this particular prompt you could either go and type let me quickly show you so go to a prompt you can click on create so i'm going to click on create presentation from a file when you do that it automatically opens the the recently opened the documents which is stored in your onedrive for business so i have some sample documents which is stored in my onedrive so i'm going to select this demo contoso marketing plan document which i have already used for my copilot in word example so i'm going to select that file and click send so at this point in time copilot uh, in powerpoint is going through the document we just uploaded and it is pulling all all the things required for it to make it as a presentation deck uh, looks like the presentation is created from a word document you can see that this presentation include things like all these topics which is already available in the document so if you want to look at the document let me quickly open the document so this is the document which i have given copilot to uh, it includes certain things like introduction, company information, what are the target market, this particular company. So an example document about a company's marketing plan. So rather than somebody creating a brand new presentation from all this data, data available, you can simply upload this and Copilot in PowerPoint can give you a PowerPoint presentation deck. Here in this draft presentation, Copilot in PowerPoint created 17 slides and made some changes as well. Additionally, Copilot included speaker notes, added some images based on the document to make it more engaging. It applied layouts and it put a general sensitivity label to the deck as well. Now let's go and uh, go through the presentation deck. Again, take this presentation deck as the starting point and and uh, you can modify and customize on top of it. So within like 10 seconds or so, I, I have a brand new PowerPoint slide deck which includes 17 slides, which is a great starting point. It saved immense amount of time if you are somebody who create a lot of presentation for your pitch. All right, it, it included an agenda slide uh, based on all the headings, what it is available from the document. It pulled up some images from the document itself like i remember seeing this chart from the document it created uh, a table based on the content and charts etc so this is a great study point and if i open the notes section let me expand this for each slide for each section of the document you can see that copilot have given me the speaking notes as well this is great for somebody who actually works on presentation and create presentation for their day-to-day -day work so now let's go and learn how can you add a new slide with the help of Copilot in PowerPoint. So let's assume um, you have done enough modification to suit your style of presentation. Now the next thing what you want to do is add a slide which you want to thank everybody for coming in and attending your presentation and you want to let them know uh, it's time for Q&A and the Q&A is going to last for 10 minutes. So you want to create a presentation on that. So I'm going to click on towards the end of the presentation and I'm going to ask Copilot to create a new slide. That's my prompt. Rest is what you want Copilot to do. So be as descriptive as you can be on what you want just like how i was explaining in the copilot for word so you give more details to copilot the more refined and most accurate 
response you can get out of Copilot. So here I am asking Copilot, hey, create a slide thanking everyone for attending this Contessor marketing plan presentation. And my objective here is to let everyone know it is time for Q&A and the Q&A will last for 10 minutes and click on send. Copilot is working on it. All right. So it looks like uh, it created a slide. It uses the same branding according to the theme of this presentation and tells everybody uh, thanks for attending the presentation. Uh, it added uh, the speaker notes as well. So you can if you're using a teleprompter or something, you could potentially go and read about it. It's much more descriptive. It included uh, the details what I have given. The Q&A session will last for 10 minutes. So make sure to get your questions in and etc. In the first example, we have seen how to create a new PowerPoint using an existing Word document. That is useful if you are trying to gather information from a repository or a file you already have. What if you want to create something brand new? All you have is an idea and you want to build on it or you want to have a starting point where you can add more data on it. So let me show you how can you create a brand new deck from nothing. So in this example, I'm going to go back to my PowerPoint rich client. I'm going to select a blank document and I don't have any data in this blank document. Um, I could start with designer because designer give me some tips um, on how to start, but I'm going to use copilot this time. Click on copilot. So I'm going to give a prompt in this prompt. I'm going to give a uh, create a presentation about a topic in this topic. I want to create a vacation presentation about India and I'm going to add more details. Additionally, I'm giving an extra prompt to be more bit more specific on what I need. I'm going to add be sure to include slides on Kerala, Goa, Himalaya and Varanasi. So let's see what Copilot is going to come up with. I'm going to click on send. It created a presentation about India and has been created a slides on Kerala, Goa, Himalaya and Varanasi is included. It included uh, pictures from Microsoft stock uh, images. You have, feel free to use these images. So if I go to different slides, you can see that uh, it, it pulled up from this particular place like state this is where i'm from uh, we are known for our backwaters and water boats and elephants uh, it gave me some pointers uh, which is quite accurate the next slide it's about goa again goa is a beach state so the image what it is used to represent is to showcase it's a beach place uh, known for beaches and nightlife influenced by portuguese culture uh, Himalaya, it included a background picture. So again, it's it's, it's a great starting point. I just uh, started from a blank document. All I had to do was tell Copilot to create a presentation about India and I just given some information. But if I can be more descriptive and more clear on my prompt, uh, I can even get a much more richer data on my presentation. So after you get this presentation, if you don't like this particular image you can always go and click on modify and edit these images out so you feel free to change it so always use copilot as your reference or a starting point where you can build something on top of so let me quickly add another slide on on this particular powerpoint i'm going to ask copilot to add a slide about visiting yoga retreat center in himalaya so click send it created a slide based on the prompt i have given uh, visiting a yoga retreat center in Himalayas, it gave me some pointers as well. Now we have learned how to create a PowerPoint from either a document or from scratch. Let's learn what are the tips you can use to format a PowerPoint deck with the help of Copilot. So I'm going to go back to the PowerPoint deck we created using the document, which is the Contesto marketing plan. So minimize the notes pane. To make any changes to the design of the PowerPoint, the best tool I could recommend is taking help of the designer. The designer button is located adjacent to Copilot. It's again a AI power tool. Work alongside Copilot to give you design options. So click on designer and these designer can provide you um, your slide makeover. So I have modified my title. Uh, this looks much better looks like a marketing plan and the, i love the stock image so if i click on present mode you can see that it already added the animation and uh, this looks much better than uh, the original content similarly you can go to any of the slide click on designer and designer will give, give you different uh, looks uh, look and feel for your agenda which you can choose from uh, i'm gonna stay with 
the second option so i'm going to pick and choose uh one which is most appropriate or better looking than what i already have and this again shows you the capability of ai power along with copilot the designer also gives you an ability to change each of these slide quickly according to your taste now that we have learned about how can you redesign the slide using designer let's go and learn some other formatting tips so now i opened a sample powerpoint presentation this powerpoint presentation is about a e-bike called thunderbolt it has a lot of slides about the details the weakness and the opportunities the price performance of this particular product a lot of text so i would like to add an image so let's pick a slide so i'm going to pick this slide maintenance and support um, i'm going to click on copy in the chat window i'm going to ask a prompt i'm going to ask add a relevant image to this particular slide and click send all right copilot added a slide which it thought is relevant and it given me a reason as well so let's go and read the reason copilot says that it added an image of a customer support representative on phone so for some reason if i don't like the image i can even ask another prompt so i'm asking copilot to change the image in this slide I'm not providing additional prompt. Uh, I'm just going to basically provide change this image. Let's see if this works. All right. So that prompt was not specific enough. So I'm going to ask another prompt add an image to the slide of a person riding an electric bike because it included the person who is supporting uh, for the maintenance, which is ideal. And it included a person who is uh, riding the bike as well. So if I want to modify it, I can double click. I can click on crop to change the positioning of the image and add border, color, change the size, layout, etc. So that's how you would be able to modify an existing slide by either changing the image or um, adding a new image. So far, we have learned about how to use designer to change the slide layouts. Um, we have learned how to add extra images. Now let's go and learn how Copilot can help you organize your PowerPoint presentation. So I'm going to use the same presentation about this e-bike. Looks like uh, there are no sections added uh, and details are missing. So I'm going to ask Copilot to organize this presentation for me. So I'm going to click send. So ideally it should add all the section on the left hand side of the presentation. So I'm going to quickly mark this area. This is where we are going to see some changes. So it looks like the changes has been made. So let me quickly go back to Copilot to see what it made it. So Copilot tells me it grouped the slides into sections. It included section called introduction and specification. So let me minimize it. Uh, then uh, it organized based on SWOT analysis. It organized based on performance requirements. It organized the slides based on design, quality, maintenance, and documentation. This is great. I started with a bunch of slides on a particular e-bike. Now I have four different segments, different sections where I can stop and ask and explain and connect with my audience when I'm presenting this. And I could include some Q&A in between each section to make it more interactive and break down the whole thing into small chunks. On top of it, it added additional slides. It added slide number two. So let's go and see what is slide number two. So this particular presentation didn't have an agenda slide. So it, it figured out that the agenda is needed. So it added an agenda slide based on the content. On slide eight, it added a new slide called SWOT analysis. And it done the same thing for other sections as well. So for performance requirement and for design quality and maintenance. So that's how you can quickly go and organize a slide deck even if you don't use anything you can simply open your bunch of presentation what you already have and try this prompt organize this presentation and see what it can come up with so we have learned a bunch of tips and tricks on how you can create format organize and modify an existing powerpoint or create a brand new one so what if you want to analyze an existing powerpoint deck you want to get some summary or you want to understand some key information about a powerpoint deck what can you do and how can you get that so let's go and learn how to do that so let's assume you know, you got this particular slide deck from one of your customer and you reviewing this data so rather than reading on all these slides you just want to quickly get a summary of what it includes so you can simply go to the copilot chat window and you can ask copilot to summarize the presentation for you and click send so ideally you are looking at a concise blurb on what this 
content is all about. So rather than combing through all the slides, you just basically want to read and get a concise idea. So Copilot gave me a quick summary of this presentation deck. It tells me that what are the main ideas. Um, this is about a Thunderbolt e-bike. What are the key selling points, SWOT analysis, and it included some reference points as well. So under each of these topic, you can hover your mouse and you can click on these numerical numbers like one, two, three. So if you click on these numbers, it point to the reference where it gets these data from. So click on two, it tells me, hey, I found out this information about this particular bike on this particular slide. You can click on this, it tells me, hey, I got this information from this slide. So I use these three slides to come up with this concise summary for you. So this is a quick way of combing through hundreds of slides and get a quick idea before you jumping ahead and make some conclusion or to do some study before a presentation. Another question you could ask for analysis is, I'm going to ask this time, show the key slides on this presentation. So send this prompt. So Copilot is going to scan over all the 20 slides I have and it is it should ideally tell me what are the key slides on this particular deck. All right, so it tells me there are four key slides. Um, the slide number six talks about key selling points. So I can go directly to slide number six um, to understand the selling points. Slide number 10 talks about threats. So if I am a buyer or if I am a seller, if I want to understand my competition and the threats, which I should be aware of, I can go and quickly look at slide number 10. And slide number 12 talks about the strength of the product. And uh, slide number 14 talks about the performance requirements. There could be additional key slides, but it tells you that these are the starting points where you can look at and then you can go for additional details. So that's how you can ask Copilot for a quick summary and show you some key slides on your existing PowerPoint. Now let's go and learn some additional uh, prompt and additional tips and tricks what you can do with PowerPoint. Let's assume you're combing through this uh, PowerPoint and you don't know what is this SWOT means. So let's quickly go to Copilot and ask about, I'm going to ask Copilot to tell me more about the acronym SWOT. Uh, what if I don't know this acronym? I want to get more details of it. Copilot is looking through the details and it tells me according to this presentation, SWOT stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And it gives me an idea about what this uh, analysis tool does and how does it impact an organization product or a project. So again, you could basically stay within this particular rich client itself and ask for further details to broaden your knowledge about the topic what you're working on. Once Copilot gather enough data about your PowerPoint, you could always come to this chat area and click on this refresh button. This gives you some of the prompts you could ask Copilot for further analysis and study related to the content what you have in your PowerPoint. So it is asking, hey, do you want to understand what are the opportunities for this Thunderbolt e-bike? So if you want to know more about it, click on that prompt rather than you asking for it. So this is going to scan through this PowerPoint deck and find the relevant information for you. All right, so it gone through all the 20 slides and it tells you that based on this, what are the opportunities? Uh, it tells you it has exceptional performance and speed. It has the range of 70 miles and it is lightweight. So that's a quick overview on how to use Copilot in PowerPoint. I hope the information provided was helpful. I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.